swampy. It's gonna be wet, that's for sure. Oh, it's a river? Yeah, it's a river right there. We can't get to Bastard. There's, you know, there's four or five spots we can hit. Yeah. Yeah. On the back roads of Bastard. Just the concussion yeah. of the... Yeah. Don't forget that. My real name is Edward, but my middle name is Jackson. I go by Jack. I'm 14. I'm in eighth grade. I go to Logos School, and I love to play sports. Baseball, football, basketball. I've lived in Idaho my entire life, and it's really great. I love Moscow. It's a great town, small, not a ton of people here. I was 10 when I, my dad first took me hunting. My birthday is in January, so I had just turned 10 like two months ago. The best thing about taking jack turkey hunting is, is just watching him pull the trigger. I always thought, I don't know, maybe it's selfish, but I always thought going out and hunting turkey, especially turkey hunting, it's a lot like elk hunting where you trick the turkeys or trick the game. That's kind of the fun for me. And pulling the trigger is cool, but just watching your kids grow up, I mean, Jack was a little guy last year, right? And just watching him grow this year and, and thinking back five years ago or four years ago when he shot his first turkey, just to see him grow as a person, as a kid, as a hunter, that's what's in it for me. I mean. I love to turkey hunt, but it's just as much fun watching your kids grow. And interestingly enough, my nine-year-old kid, I've been taking him a lot since Jack's tagged out. I've taken him the last four or five times. He can't carry a gun, which he thinks crazy, because he's nine, he can hunt next year when he, you know, he can shoot a gun. We've, we've, we've taken him out and shot, but um, that's, that's the fun part for me, especially after Jack's last bird this year was, it's way more exciting and, and thrilling to call one in for your son and have him shoot it, or your daughter. It's, that's fun. Nine o'clock. It's me. Last year was kind of rough. We went out like six, five, six times, several times. We got close, but we, we went several times. Didn't get much. Some days we didn't hear a thing. They were a long ways away and then we chased them and they didn't talk. But it's been tough last year. The getting up early part is kind of rough. But then like once you get there and you get out, then you're like ready to go and you're like hopefully you hear something. And then you gotta hike a lot. There's a lot of hiking to get to the good spots. And then especially if you hear something, it's usually in the other direction, so you gotta go back the way you came. It's real easy on public ground to find an old logging road and walk down it 100 yards or 200 yards, and if you don't hear anything, go back to the truck. And I would say early on in my turkey career, that's what I like to do, and that's what, I guess that's what I was most comfortable with. Um, but again, you have the challenge of facing birds that have been worked a lot. And so now I, I joke with my son, Jack, that we're just gonna go another 200 yards, and I think 200 yards to Jack's probably two miles now, just because I just, I do like to hike a lot. No, I'm not very patient, and nor is my dad, but this year we're trying a lot harder to be more patient, because like we'd move way too early the years before, instead of just waiting, waiting, and calling less too. Calling less helps, I think, Some, sometimes. Sometimes it helps, sometimes you gotta, if they're really going, then you gotta help them out. This here was all public land. Well, I haven't hunted much private land, but yeah, the place, I, I've gotten like one turkey-ish on private land, and that was not super hard. Cause there's more like, it's more access accessible because nobody really hunts there much, but in public land, you gotta hike to where people don't hunt. I started this year a little bit with my with the mouth call and <laughs> doesn't sound very good yet. The hardest thing about hunting public is just um, is all the people. You know, public land, especially with birds or any game, 
the more they're pressured, the smarter they get, they wise up, and so it makes it a lot more tricky. And uh, I've got a couple spots, few spots that are that will that will hunt private this year. That's exciting, um, but it is also the thrill of going to find a three-year-old smart Tom. There, that that's exciting. It's a challenge, and you know Jack alluded to on on his discussions that we hike a lot, and I like to go to places that are hard to get through. But that's why I like to go and just try and work birds that haven't been hammered a lot because they get smart, right? Especially the older ones. We try and hike a lot to go find those birds that haven't been uh, hunted quite as much. Most of the public land hunting, especially around here, is it's within 25 minutes you can be in the woods. It's pretty accessible. Uh, all the timber companies around here are, are very lenient on, on letting hunters on their ground. It's, it's up to us to be stewards of, of, of their ground, and they're pretty good about it. Most of, the, most of the ground is pretty clean, but that's the fun part. Uh, the best part about turkey hunting, because I have buddies and, and people that have turkeys walking in that live out in the country, and they said, what's the thrill of just shooting a turkey? They're everywhere, and that's true, but like I said earlier, that part of chasing them deep into the woods, um, tricking them that you're that you're a real hand and calling them in and taking that shot and just everything that goes into it, um, that's the exciting part for sure. It, it's the thrill. It's everything that we've talked about. Shutting the pickup door, loading up, hiking, setting tracks, finding birds, finding animals, and then and then tagging out and bringing it home. And 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 like I said earlier, the best part now as a dad is just doing that with your family, right? And when they're little kids, they can't do that. You have your great moments and all that. But now, for me, the fun is 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 taking the boys out. That's the fun part for me, for sure. Did you hear him drumming? Oh yeah. The only thing I would end with is, you know, for people that like to hunt, stay with it, get your kids involved in hunting, uh, do it for either the right reasons, you know, harvesting game, being stewards of the land, um, you know, providing for your family and eating that. It's just, yeah, yeah. it's just, it's fun. And having that family time and experience with your kids and even friends, you know, you go out with your buddies and then you see their kids going out now. Um, it's, it's just a good community to be a part of. And that's, I guess that's the last thing I would say.